Alright Blizzard, let's talk heroes. Alexstrasza, the Life Binder. One of the aspects of the... Lots of dragons. There's, lot, there's dragons in WoW and there's lots of them. So, uh, this is the red one. The fire one, the life one, the healing one. I don't know. This is a concept made by IndieDude7 who has graciously made concepts for basically... Well, I guess all of them, really. Does Chromie not count? I guess Chromie's already in the game. Does she not count, though? I don't know. It's been a while since I played World of Warcraft. Anyway, they've got Alex Reza marketed as a support, which makes sense because it's the only one that could be one. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, combat trait, Queen of the Red Flight. Place an egg which periodically hatches a red dragon spawn to travel down the nearest lane, sinks with minion waves. Dragon spawn does not attack, but heals a single nearby ally for minor health every two seconds, preferring heroes. Dragon spawns last 30 seconds. Eggs last until recast or destroyed. That's pretty cool, because that almost makes her, like, a specialist healer. Like, my heal is, like, my passive heal is not so much, uh... It's more of a, you'll get it. No, no, just, just stay with the minions, you'll, you'll get it. You got this. You got this. Like, that could be really cool. That's almost like an Asmodan minion thing, but for healing. So, I like that. Uh, primary abilities. Q, life from death. Mark an allied hero for 8 seconds. Any damage you or, summon, you or your summons deal to enemy minions, mercenaries, and heroes, heal that ally for 50% of the damage dealt. It's pretty good, and it makes sense. Like, you're a dragon, you're a big, ferocious beast, and you deal damage. But, of course, you're also the healer, so that damage goes somewhere. So, I like that. That's pretty good. Um, I almost wonder if the mark should have a time limit on it. Like, you could always just remark somebody if you needed to heal somebody else. Or, is it to prevent you from just spam healing everybody? I don't know. But, you know, food for thought. Uh, w, Cleansing Flame. Target an area of the ground, allies standing within the uh, area regain some health per second. Enemies take damage per second, lasts six seconds. The only thing I'll say about this one is I like, I like it's an area of effect heal that does healing and damage simultaneously, which is cool. The only thing I'll say, the name is misleading. I look at that and I think, I see the word cleanse. That's what I see. So I think CC removal, stun removal, root removal, any removal, really. It's healing and damage. Maybe rethink the name on that one. Just, just, just because people in MOBAs, they see the word cleanse, they think it means something else. That's all. Uh, e, Crimson Gale. Transform partway to flap your dragon wings in the cone in front of you. Enemies in the area still by 40%, 30 seconds. There's your escape. I'd almost say like, no, you know what? No, I was gonna say push them back and slow them. That is Falstad's ult. You cannot give someone a shittier version of an ult without heavy balance issues. So, yeah. You know what? That's not bad. If all it does is slow them, I don't even see any damage. If it all it does is slow them, it's your CC for your support abilities, and it's your escape. It slows them down enough, like, not so much that it breaks them, but enough that you can get away, and the fact that it doesn't damage them means stealthies will still remain stealth, they just might not get to you in time. Yeah, you know what? I like that, actually. The more I think about it, the more I like that. Cool. No complaints with the basic kit, besides that name change. Heroic aspect, uh, abilities. Aspect of life. Transform into a dragon, increasing your health by 100%. Every three seconds, you release an expanding ring of fire from your body, which heals allies and deals damage to enemies. Your movement speed is reduced by 25% for the duration of this ability. It lasts 16 seconds. I'm assuming you also change in size, or do you just stay small for nexus and sizing constraints? Dunno. But, that's pretty good. Um, I don't see any reason why you can't keep- like, Since this doesn't give you any extra abilities besides the passive ring, if you can still cast your basic abilities while doing this, that's pretty good. I'm actually okay with that. Now, 16 seconds is a very long time, though, so I may say make it 10 or so. Because, like, this alone, the damage, the healing, and being able to cast your basic abilities, and attacking at the same time. Let's, let's not counter out. You may have a good attack as well. All of that combined screams, this is, like, two inches from broken. So, maybe lower how much it is. But, I mean, honestly, this could still be really good by itself. You may not even need to do that much. So, I don't know. I like it. I, I do. Fuck, I feel like I have no co nothing to contribute then. Fucking approved. That's my contribution so far. Anyway, other heroic. A mother sacrifice. Sacrifice 50% of your current health to heal an ally for 75% of your of your total health. Man, if you did that... Oh. No, there's no way to stack those two. Never I was going to say, if you did that when you were in dragon form, that'd be fucking awesome. Like, giant amount of health. <laughs> now you're healed to full. Suck it up. Um, That doesn't seem like... like See, here's my problem with this one here. Okay, I finally found something to complain about. It doesn't do enough for a heroic. 
Compared to the other one, which is like team fight central around the giant red dragon, this doesn't seem to do enough. You lose a lot of health to heal someone to not even to full. Like Ancestral healing is almost a full heal, and you don't even lose any health to do it on Rhaegar. I would say this should do that and maybe either give them a shield or a damage uh, resistance for a certain amount of time, or give you a damage resistance for a certain amount of time, or even both. Really, like, you could do a lot more than this than just that. Like, that doesn't do enough. So I'd actually say your heroic is too underpowered to be justified. I... I'd retool that one and give it something more. Give it give it more of a, a fruitful buff in some way. I don't know. Maybe we'll get to the 20 talent and that will be what I, what I want it to be right now by basic. And of course, uh, special mount, you get your wings and you can float. Like, um, kind of like the Arthas skin for Halloween. I think he gets like bat wings or something. So talents. Level 1, life binding. Permanently increase your health by 15 when you pick up a regeneration globe. That's really handy because it doesn't have a cap. So that with this could potentially be very good or hell even that with this like extra 100% health on top of all of that really really good so I like that I don't know if I'd give that a cap I'd say after you get like like put a cap on it but don't like make it a hard cap so like when say when you hit 20 then each globe only gives you 7 max health or something like that like half it after a certain point so it doesn't become broken as shit because if someone somehow managed to acquire, like, if they do nothing but farm health globes, like, all game, you will never kill them. Ever. Uh, Pursuit of the Scarlet Flight. Regeneration globes permanently increases mana regeneration up to two. Upon gathering 20 globes, Dragon Spawn heals two targets at once. That is really good for this. That makes your passive, like, well, it makes it twice as good. Like, I can't even mince words here. Oh, that's good, man. I like that. You've put some thought into these talents. Two Ashes, Cleansing Flame deals uh, extra damage when initially cast. Not bad, not bad. And From Ashes, so two Ashes, From Ashes. Cleansing Flame heals, okay. So you can either make it so Cleansing Flame gives you extra damage or extra healing. You have made a very good puzzle for level one for Alex Raza. I like, see, see, I got to take this a step back here. The, the reason I'm doing, um, uh, I forgot your name. Indie, Indie Dude 7 stuff right now is because when I first started the uh, Let's Talk Hero series, Indie Dude was one of the first people I messaged. I only just got a message back from them like four days ago. So think about how much time that was. And yet, think, like, and think about how different the game's been in that time. These are still really good, and I have had very little to actually complain about so far reading, and I'm in the talents now. So, this guy has made, or girl, you know, forgive me, I'm, I'm going by dude in your name, uh, has made some very solid builds, and that was why I messaged him being like, come on, like, please, give me permission to do these, because you've made some really solid character concepts, and they still hold up. I don't even see anything that needs to be changed yet to keep up with the way that everything is going in the game. There's nothing broken here that has now been done. There's nothing that's been taken by another character yet. Keep at it. Like, make more. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Level 4 talents. Backdraft. Enemies hit by Crimson Gale are also knocked back a short distance. That runs into the foul side issue I had earlier. So maybe don't do that. Maybe, like, give them, like, um... Oh, I almost wanted to say a 0.5 second root, but that might be too bad either. It's tough. Because, like, you want to go that route, but it's it's literally a freaking foul stat ult, but weaker. I don't know what you could do with that. Maybe, maybe make it deal a minor amount of damage. Maybe. Like, like a very small amount of damage. Kind of like how you can make Lee Ming's teleport deal no damage into a, a teleport that deals damage. Like, something like that. I don't know. Uh, stretch your wings. Reach the arc of Crimson Gale by 20%. So it's the Cone of Cold argument. Uh, circle of Life. Enemy, every enemy initially hit by Cleansing Flame reduces the cooldown by 0.5 seconds. Every ally hit returns 5 mana. I like that. That's really handy. It, it's good. It's good synergy with your just being able to dunk enemy teams with it with your team in there like stand back and just throw that into a team fight mana cooldowns it's all good uh death for life when while life from death is active where was life for death again oh it's your q okay cool well life for death is active your basic attacks deal 75 percent damage over three seconds oh additional 75 percent damage it's not bad it's not because it's only your basic attacks it's not any of your ability attacks so yeah 
I don't see, like, as cool as that is, I don't see anyone taking it. Because you're the support, you're not building for damage. Like, you're not Karazine, you're not building for damage here, so. Yeah, I like that because it gives you an option as a new playstyle, but chances are good it will not be taken. Level 7, life finds a way. Ah, 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 ah. I see what you did there. Ah, the gold bloom. Life, uh, finds a way. Life from death makes target immune to stun and silence effects. Might be a little broken with both of those. I'd say stun and root or stun and slow. To be fair, stun and silence? A little broken. Uh, defend the clutch. Summons dra summon dragon spawn heals death. Summon dragon spawn heals now deal damage. Oh, okay. So when their dragons heal uh, in the, from your passive, they also deal damage in a small area. That's not bad. I like that. I'm okay with that. Feel the fire. Increase the radius of cleansing flame by 25%. Makes it even easier to land those sick dunks. Wind at your back. Allied heroes affected by Crimson Gale gain 25%. Yeah, okay, that's good too. See, that's a really nice buff talent because it's like, oh shit, my team's in trouble. Whoosh! Run! Flee! Like, I like it. Uh, level 10, blah, blah, blah. Level 13, Fertile Ground. Allies affected by cleansing, cleansing Frame receive 75% increased healing from allied sources. That's good. I like it when healers can also buff more healing. I like that. Fortify Life. If affected by both Life from Death and Cleansing Flame, allied healers receive an extra uh, a point shield per second. Shield lasts for 3 seconds. That's pretty good because that's not an easy shield to go through. You actually have to ding them with your Q, mark them, and then hit them with your W. So you basically have to burn two basic abilities to give them a shield. So, it's not broken, and the shield does not last indefinitely, so, yeah. No, I like it. This guy's good at this. I got nothing to bitch about. Blazing Speed. Allied heroes affected by Cleansing Flame gain 10% increased attack speed. That's not too bad. It's very sm- It only affects your, um, uh, the stuff hit by your W, and it's only a 10% increase, so it's not busted. I- and you've already got something that gives movement speed, so yeah, that, that's fair. That, that actually works out. Level 16, Heart and Focus. While well, about 80% life, your basic ability cooldowns regenerate 50% faster. I I think Alaric already has one of those, so that's not too bad. Actually, I think... Yeah, yeah, he has like that exact ability, doesn't he? It's it's something very similar to that. Fertile Hatchery. Queen of Red Flight now hatches two Dragon Spawns with each wave of minions. That's really good. I like that. And it's level 16, so it's high enough that it's not going to break the game early on. Cauterizing Burn. Life from Death now grants the effective hero an aura that deals... Uh, it gives them Burning Rage. When the ability expires, 25% of the damage dealt is converted into health for the hero. Oh, that's so good! Oh! Why are all these talents so good? And they're not even busted! Like, that's the unfair part. Like, I can't even get mad. They're just all good picks. Matriarchal Gust. After one second delay, Crimson Gale summons a second blast that sends enemies for 5 0.5 seconds. Oh, okay. See... That, that solves my problem, because I wanted to say it should give them a... I, I don't say stun. I would say root, not stun. Stun's a little broken. But, um... That was my problem with the trying to make it root before. It's like, that seems broken, because you, you could just use to engage. Like, slow them and root them. And then everyone just dives them. But if this is after a one-second delay, they have to plan around that. So they've got that extra second to be like, oh, shit, like, okay, panic. So, yeah. That's not bad. But don't make it a stun, make it a root. And then, uh, level 20, the Dragon Queen. Remove the movement speed penalty to aspect of life and ring of fire now at least every two seconds. So, it makes it better, and it does not break it in the process. Good. She who is life, a mother sacrifice needle here is for 100% of your total health, and the health cost is reduced by 25%. Yeah, that kind of, you should just have that by default, really. It's, I don't know, it's, it de like, by itself, it just doesn't seem that good. So, with this, it, it becomes a decent pick. But, compared to she who is dragon... Um, it's not gonna get taken. You can you can single-handedly turn team fights around with that shit. Like, pfft, dragon healing, 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 damage, damage, da like fuck that. Like you could just do everything like that. The only way this has a possibility of standing up to that is if you can't use your basic abilities as a dragon. But in which case, that ability loses a lot of its value because you you can do nothing but walk around, do your little farty ring passive thing, and attack with your claws. Like that's all you can do. So you kind of need your kit to be able to, to for that ability to be awesome, but without it, you lose so much. So, don't know. Uh, Scarlet Broodmother, you may now place up to two dragon spawn eggs at a time. Also, see, I was kind of hoping you'd have that at some point. So, like, I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be a 20 talent, like it'd be like a 16 or something, but, eh. Like, it's still really, really good, so maybe 20 is balanced, but... Yeah, that's really, really good. Like, I love... Love what you've done with this. 
I like almost every single talent. I have no problem with the kit. I would buy this first day, max price, don't even care. Like, I know this was ages ago that you wrote this. I don't even, is there even a date? Uh, October, oh, it was like, oh, he updated it after he messaged me. Cause there's no, like, I wrote this ages ago. So there's, yeah, he definitely updated this recently. But either way, whenever you made this, I know it was a while ago, but I would absolutely love to see, one, more builds from you, and two, go go the extra nine. Throw cosmetics in this. Like, what would you like to see for skins for Alex Straza? I'd love to see more of those. I like critiquing that stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's Alex Straza. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Let Indie Dude 7 know what you think in the comments below. It was 7, right? So it was 7. Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah, that's just... Yeah. Blizzard, make this a thing! Really? I'd buy it!